As recession calls continue to grow, the question naturally is, have we reached the bottom yet? Yahoo Finance's Alexandra Canal, or Canal, Seminova. Yeah, too, too, many too, Alex too, too many Alexes here. Way too many Alexes here. Alexandra Seminova is here to break down uh, the story there. So is the sentiment on Wall Street that... We haven't really gotten there yet. Well, Brian, we hear calls on Wall Street every day about a recession. You even hear it at happy hours these days. Anywhere you turn, everyone is talking about the potential for an economic downturn. Uh, and obviously, we've seen a lot of volatility in the stock market this year. Stocks are well off of their January 3rd highs. But despite this uh, negative sentiment, the stock market actually isn't pricing this scenario in quite yet. Uh, if you take a closer look at the numbers, the S&P 500 is still trading 13% above a widely cited, a cited recessionary target of 3,400. Uh, this would place the index 29% below its January 3rd high. The average recession since World War II has seen the index decline 31%. So we're far away from that, despite all the you know negativity and doom and gloom that we've been hearing about. Yeah, well, I mean, a lot of investors are probably thinking, oh my gosh, what is going on here? But of course, the story is also about the Fed. I think we had a tweet that we saw online from one user that was mentioning... It's this is a fake Jerome Powell, by the way. This is not the real Jerome Powell. But he said, don't think so. I've got a bunch of tools. You ain't seen nothing yet, even though people are concerned that the Fed's going to tilt us into this a recession. This is my favorite account, as you know. <laughs> yeah, we it know. Is, it is the best one. I think I send way too many of these on Slack. And for anyone that knows, obviously, again, that's it's a photo of him, but it's not actually him. But I mean, do you think the Fed story folds into that as well? Absolutely. I mean, obviously, uh, this is what's worrying investors, a quantitative tightening, uh, higher interest rates, inflation. All of these pressures are very much there. Uh, but, you know, even with earnings season underway, uh, everyone is preparing for a milder earnings season. But the S&P 500 is still poised to see aggregate earnings per share of $56. The typical re recession sees earnings per share fall by 25%, a decline that would put the figure at about $42 per share a quarter. So, you know, everything is pointing to the fact that the stock market isn't pricing this in yet. Mm. All right. A little bit of a warning there. Yahoo Finance's Alexandra Seminova. Thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Thanks.